hello Jen here and I have a haul for you I'm super excited to show you what I scooped up from scrap shots at the Calgary scrap Genza that was put on by scrap shots it was a great weekend of cropping and chatting and catching up with people um, meeting a lot of new people and just getting to talk scrappy talk and creative talk and of course some shopping so let me show you what I grabbed all of this is from scrap shots the link is down below go and check out their store Canadian owned and operated and uh, let me show you what I got so first things first right on top here I did scoop up this snap album um, this has the red binding or the red spine and I thought that this would be a really fun December daily album. I am getting the Ellie Edwards December daily main kit, but I didn't grab an album from her. And, um, yeah, I thought I kind of like the plane a little bit more. So that will be my December daily album for this year. Then I grabbed a few extra bits and pieces of Christmassy stuff because I grabbed the main kit and not too much else. I like to have, you know, a few bits and pieces that come from other companies just to change things up a bit so um, you have a bit of variety and you can kind of pull the things that speak to you. So from 49 and Market I grabbed the acetate foliage from their Christmas Spectacular collection. I have been working with the pink foliage, acetate foliage and absolutely loving it and so when I saw this I thought yep I'm definitely grabbing this so you can see there are some really big wreaths in here lots of holly some poinsettias just some really really pretty pieces and they're all in different kind of sizes and just um, you know lots of great layering potential and just make a beautiful little kind of pop of color so very classic Christmas which I love and definitely I think they're all the right size to fit onto pages that go uh, in this album too so that's one then I also grabbed from the Christmas Spectacular the chipboard word set I absolutely love how just very classic these are they are black and white green and white and red and white so flip that over and you can see here these will go with any other Christmas collections you have they're so classic they have these beautiful fonts look at how many different little kind of label type words and phrases there are along with these bigger titles I just thought these were perfect so grabbed that set as well and also from the same Christmas Spectacular I grabbed these chipboard so this one's just called the chipboard set I again was kind of just attracted to those uber classic Christmas colors there's a few different shades of greens in here there's black and white and then there's the red and you know some of those classic Christmas images look how much stuff is in here so you've got some classic Christmas Santas, then you have lots of the words and little labels, more kind of label type things up here. I love their bookmarks or tags, I guess, but to me they kind of remind me of bookmarks and um, just some really pretty little kind of holly. So super excited to see those all kinds of different you know sizes and shapes and stuff so again great for a December daily because they're not a ton of dimensions you can add a little bit of embellishment and dimension without making your album too too chunky so those are my Christmas elements so Sandy had a bunch of the Gardenia collection on sale, so I decided to grab some of that. It is part of the whole Spectrum uh, larger collection, but I don't have any of this. I was going for more of the Pink Lemonade. That was, I think, the name of the collection that I was picking up a lot of stuff from, more in the pinks and the oranges. Um, this has some gorgeous pops of purple it has a little bit more of the blues and some different greens so i grabbed the tag set 
which you can definitely see the colors in there. There's tons of tags. There's 18 tags. All of them have their own string. You can also kind of see the color palette for this um, mini collection, collection inside a collection. I, I don't know how they're referring to it, but love those tags. I also got the laser cut um, package. Like this is the whole collection. There's 111 different laser cut elements in here. Uh, there's frames, tickets, word strips, banners, butterflies, and more. So here is just a glimpse. They all come on sheets and you can just pop them out. Um, they have a nice thickness to them. They're cardstock, but they have a nice thickness to them. And there's all different, you know, styles. As you can see here, different styles, different colors, all within that same spectrum. Lots and lots of stuff. 111 pieces. Like, that is a ton. There's little tags and little, uh, like, round buttons. And, yeah, just... I thought that was really fun. Definitely something you could go and pop all of these out and put them into an iris container and kind of rifle through them. Lots of little layering elements and things. So grabbed that. It was only $7. That's fantastic. Uh, and then I got the papers. So this is the Gardenia Classics 12 by 12 collection. Um, so I'm not sure if this this whole like series of collections, there's so many different elements to it. I'm not sure if there's other gardenia papers as well. So let me quickly show you, while Luna is barking back there, sorry. <laughs> let me quickly show you some of the patterns and papers that are in here. So love how thick the cardstock is. And then you've got this piece here that you could cut apart some extra elements little layering pieces and stuff like that so kind of that bonus on the back but remember you can use all of this as well all of this is definitely fun layering pieces so remember to use your title pages then we have this with the blues on the back here is the purple. Oh, they all have names. Hold on, let me tell you their names. So we have Blue Persuasion, Violicious. Oh, there's the purple. We have Pink Skies, Floral Blaze. This one is Menagerie Medley. So your beautiful rainbows, which you could mix and match with some of the other rainbows um, that are kind of shown throughout the Spectrum collection. Very pretty on the back. This one's called Tapestry Illusion. This one is Euphoria. Love that blue. Blue with the green, my favorite. Floral Serenade. And then there's the back. So lots of potential for these. I just really like the base colors. And even if I, you know, cut some of this out and don't use all of this because I'm not um, often kind of a florally person, I still just really like the colors. You could cut a lot of these pieces out. So I thought it was a good deal to grab these. So those are the papers. So that is kind of a little collection I got. And then the next thing I got is some fall and Halloween stuff. So I got for Halloween, let's see, here we go. For Halloween, I got these chipboards, the Fabulous collection. Um, so I loved these chipboards. I love this bookshelf. I loved this boo to you. I just thought it was really fun. Kind of classic colors. The orange is a little subdued and kind of earthy. The ghosts aren't white. They're more in a cream. Um, but I just thought this would work really well for a lot of other papers that I might have. And then to go along with it, I grabbed the foam stickers. So some fantastic, um, titles here and then just these fun little foamy elements like the bat and the jack-o-lantern and creep it real 
and then over here you've got some more of that so love this boo down here and this one says love your bones thought that was really cute so those are the two Halloween elements I got I did not get any paper I have lots of paper left over and so I'm trying not to buy things until I get more of it used up but I did want some fall paper because I do tend to use that up um, pretty quickly I love fall and I love those warm cozy colors so I use it even uh, when it's not fall so this is called acorn lane um, so I got the 12 by 12 collection kit which always comes with the sticker sheet on the back and I got these two here so I got the chipboard which again I just love these little pops of things like the leaves this banner here that says hello autumn and it's got the little birds on it there's a moth here which I thought was really cool and I've kind of been working with the in nature collection and this would actually match it perfectly so if I don't use it in fall I can definitely grab it and use it in that collection um, and then I also got the foam so same thing as I said with the other one lots of fun little leaves and then some of these bigger title potentials right so absolutely adore that and I've got we've got like September and autumn and family um, and then on here again that autumn vibes fall I just think that there's so much you can do with these they're really pretty so those are the the ephemera or the embellishments I guess and then I got the papers so for the papers definitely has a bit of a 70s vibe I would almost say um, but I absolutely adore it this is definitely a different kind of floral um, than what we see so that's really fun they always kind of have the same style of papers but I like that they make changes and update them so here is the back and then we have this cute little bird I love the blue background and then we have the polka dots Oh, these also have names if you're wondering hold on this one is hello fall this one is cozy days and then we have warm hearts with the acorns very trendy and popular this year acorns are everywhere and then I love this fun little heart here we have that flower again that kind of interesting pattern to the flower and you have a few little moths which is kind of a unique touch for a fall collection you usually see the bugs butterflies moths and things like that in summer collections but I like the fall touch so that's really pretty polka dots on the back this one is called Hallelujah. Uh, this one is called Falling Leaves. Love that yellow. And then on the back you have the plaid. Very pretty. Yellow and blue are my favorite color combination. So I will take them any way I can. Here we have Happy Harvest. And again we have those gorgeous moths. And we have some toadstools which I think is just very, very darling. And definitely would not have to be a fall layout you could use this for all different kinds of things and then on the back you have this beautiful almost like a maybe like a marigold type color um to the the flowers then we have the fox which is so sweet and i have my own little fox so i always happily scoop up papers like this this one says autumn vibes and on the back we have another plaid all in those orange hues with a little kind of brown to it fantastic always looking forward to these tag pages lately they're so much fun so you've got all these different tags pumpkin spice season sweater weather is better together happy fall y'all let's get cozy um autumn time so really fun sentiments and then the back is always 
your blanks. So I absolutely love that and I will probably make another tag album. I made one for my summer trip so I think I might turn this into another one and, and just have a bunch of these cute little tag mini albums for 2023. Oh and this one's called Tag Elements so <laughs> self-explanatory. This one is the journal elements really cute these ones are always varying sizes so you've got your standard kind of four by three but then you might have some other sizes that are a little bit different and you've got leaves and acorns on the back these are your three by four elements very cute i like this one there's a chill in the air that's kind of great for here living in canada we could get snow at the beginning of september um, and so we definitely feel that chill in the air when when fall hits us and then this beautiful floral on the back kind of classic simple stories this one is the 2x2 two two and 4x4 four four elements so you get lots of these fun little 2x2s two that make great little ephemera and uh, layering pieces and then some of these 4x4s four four which are really sweet there's that gorgeous box and some more leaves on the back. And here are the four by six elements. I love the navy as the background here. Um, oh, this one's fun too. Leaves are falling and autumn is calling. Nice to have that switched a different way. And the back of this one is this navy and orange diamond pattern and then we have our sticker sheet with just all those same images repeated in sticker form and their classic little words and phrases which are always my favorite there's always so many of them so that is the acorn lane collection elements that i got and all of that was from scrap shots and then I got a few goodies from Wild Whisper. So, so let me show you those. Okay, so Wild Whisper is having a 60% off sale right now. You need to run, don't walk, don't sit on it. Run to Wild Whisper, get your hands on all of this amazing clearance stuff 60% off if you want to buy some new stuff you can always use my discount code DTGen and that will save you 10% on anything that's new or just like regular sale items and stuff but the clearance stuff it's a great deal so definitely stock up um, so all the prices you see here are before the sale uh, so I grabbed the brush letters they're a very classic stamp letter I don't have many of these and so when I realized that they probably weren't going to restock them I decided to grab them. I'm also going to get the uppercase letters but um, they may already be out of those so oh, my fingers are crossed that uh, Susie can find another set for me and I'll grab those too but I love this stamp set. I grabbed some more of the um, Camp More Worry Less Flare just very classic kind of camping imagery. There's the camp kettle and a tent and a trailer and a compass and so love those. So many camping um, pictures so I decided to go ahead and grab that. Then I also grabbed the stamp set. I didn't grab it originally because we were tenters more than trailer campers but now that we're using our trailer I really wanted to grab this one because we have a tent trailer and I just love all of the words and everything so I think it'll be really fun to have that add it to my collection before I can't get it anymore Wild Whisper stamps literally stamp so beautifully if you haven't used them before you really want to grab a set they're they're really well made um I use this collection all the time this is child at heart i love the colors i love the sentiments i love all the images in the pack so this is the double pack and whoops i'll just pop this over you will definitely recognize all of these because i use them 
and I've gone through I think two single packs already so in the double pack you get two of each and then here's the other side so those are all the four by sixes love the game controllers and then you've got your doubles of um, the, the three by fours and I just I love them I use them all the time I love the color palette so I wanted to grab this I do have some of the paper left but not much and so I would definitely have grabbed some paper too but it has kind of like a gaming theme to it but also just like this says raising children is an art not a science <laughs> so just kind of fun um, very applicable sayings and quotes and stuff for having kids and raising your kids so grabbed those I also grabbed the wild whimsy card pack this is one of their original collections from way back in 2018 one of my absolute favorites I've used it all up I don't have any pieces of it left over in my stash anymore so I wanted to grab the card pack and just be able to have some more of these elements to use and the adventure collection um, also one of my favorites also very iconic wild whisper they have released a couple versions of adventure and so love all the colors all the images um, and just really wanted to add this so I have more cards because I've used up pretty much all of these as well so added those to my collection grabbed a stencil I'll just pull this one out so you can see the top of it it's a camping stencil so it says camping where friends and marshmallows get toasted and then it's got these beautiful mountains so you've got kind of this mountain range that you can use or a smaller version of it and then there's a couple stars and an arrow so you could cut some of these elements apart if you wanted to use them like that or just tape off the pieces that you um, don't want to use but I just really love the options with this one and I'm always scrapbooking our hikes and mountain adventures so I didn't have this stencil before decided to add that one I also grabbed this one this was designed by Pam Bray and it is the little hexagon kind of honeycomb stencil so I thought that would be really fun so I grabbed that one I grabbed some oh wait let me do the clearance let me do more of the clearance stuff. Um, so I also grabbed another pack of the Masculine Collection. I love the wood grains and these frames. I actually still have three of them. That's pretty much the only thing I have left from this collection. It's from 2020. I've used it all up. So I grabbed another piece of paper. Just lots of very kind of basic, definitely masculine type papers, but also they work really well for other things too. Um, like this one I think I used at Christmas time, for example. And so I thought I would grab a little bit more of that. And give me one sec here this is all new stuff yeah is it yeah okay let me pop this underneath then I also have this stamp set so the play in the dirt collection there was actually two different editions there was the garden edition and then there was the house plant edition I kind of went more for the house plant edition with the cards and the flare and stuff actually I think I got both sets of flare but I didn't have the garden stamp set and so I've got this cute little mushroom some cute little butterflies I just thought this worked really good and um, the canning jar to document some of the like pickles and stuff like that that I like to make so I thought that would be really fun to play with I also grabbed a bunch of loose paper so this is from the play in the dirt collection there you can see the pickles I was kind of going for that um, so I grabbed these to kind of go together and then I have some handmade all of these are the title pages and so I use this part I love to use this for layering you kind of cut it out and you have some paper with all the different patterns from the collection so it matches what you're using and it can really stretch your paper but they always put a bonus print on the other side so 
I grabbed a bunch for these kind of bonus things. They had them for 50 cents, so good deal there. I'm not sure if they're going to be in the store like that, but they were at the crop like that. So um, grabbed a couple of these ones as well. This is Happy Tales. Oh, that other one was handmade, the handmade collection. This is from um, Canadian Winter. Look at how beautiful this is. If my camera will pick it up, it has the tree trunk rings in the back and that beautiful navy. This is from One More Chapter. Love this collection so much. And this is just so usable for so many different things. It's just repeating stars. Perfect. This one, I think I got one of these. Yep, this is Sassy Since Birth. Super fun, bright pops of color, and then just a really fun background that you can do a lot with. This is from the Masculine Collection, so the one I just showed you, you can see here, I grabbed a couple of these. Look at just this fun, very neutral teal background, perfect, or great for layering. Um, This one here, did I grab two of these? No, I just grabbed one. Okay, so I grabbed it for this side. This is the Bobbles and Bows, and on one side, everything is black and white, and on the other side, there are some fun mixed media kind of patterns, very, uh, like, distressed and stuff. So I grabbed it for this side. I think it'll be really fun to try to play around with this. I do have this collection, but I just really like this particular layout and thought it might be fun to have two. This one is from Pam Bray and it's from the Carefree. So from Carefree, actually I got, let's see, multiples, yeah. So from Carefree, I got these three papers. Oh no, sorry, this is from Simplicity. I was wrong. So Simplicity, also from Pam Bray, is this on the back. Then from Carefree, there's this kind of marbled effect, which is really cool. And then this on the back. And then this one with the flowers, I think I fussy cut all of these flowers out when I used my collection originally. Um, oh no, I didn't. I used this page. It was a different page that I fussy cut out. But I've used all of Pambray's Carefree collection, so I wanted to grab a few other pieces while I have them. And then yeah, this is Simplicity. And then from their new stuff, I already have um, the In Nature collection, and I have the card set from um, Moving On Up, and I have the stamp set from In Nature and all of that. So I have shown an unboxing of all of that, but I wanted to grab just a couple of the individual papers. So for the new collections, um, Moving On Up and In Nature, you can actually grab um, individual pieces if you want. So this one, I just really love the colors of the houses and I think I might fussy cut them all out. And then this is what's on the back, which is kind of fun. It's a moving collection, as you can tell. So if you want to, you know, snap a picture of your moving truck or the boxes that you have stacked up, this will work really great for that. Um, this is the cut apart sheet. So this is the ephemera fussy cutting page is what they're going to call it and you can fussy cut all of these elements out there's some little labels and things and kind of do whatever you want with these so very fun I wanted to grab those nothing on the back so you're not going to cut up a design and have to try to decide what you want to use um, I also grabbed two of the fussy cutting pages for the in nature because I've almost used it all. I can't even believe it. Um, I just love the colors, and here are those moths I was talking about when I was going through this stuff. Um, this is the collection, and so you can see there are moths and different kinds of bugs and bees and like lightning bugs and all kinds of stuff. So um, I wanted to grab a couple of those because I have used them. And then you've got the cards on the back and they're also blank so you don't have to worry about if you fussy cut 
these elements that you're you know missing out on a pattern <laughs> on the back so two of those and then my final piece here is also from the move and app collection i love this cardboard as a background obviously it's perfect for cardboard um, boxes when you're moving but i also think it would be fun to what i'm going to do anyways is to maybe document um, some amazon packages or at christmas time when you have like boxes and boxes of stuff that's arriving to your doorstep or boxes of, of um, you know, stuff out in the trash that you have to recycle. Just those types of pictures I think would be really fun. But I just, I like the cardboard. I think it's really cool. Um, it adds texture without actually having any texture. So that's kind of fun. And then on the back is the key. And so this could work for anything that you get keys for. So, you know, your new house, moving into your first apartment, moving into a dorm if you're, you know, college kid, a university kid, your first new car, anything. Oh, it doesn't even have to be your first. I keep saying first, but that's because I'm thinking of my daughter having all of those firsts, but a new car, anything like that, or even like a, a Valentine's layout where you could have it with all these keys and then hearts all over and, you know, the title, you're the key to my heart or something. So very versatile. So I grabbed that one. And that is it. That is all the shopping that I did. I did a lot more shopping with my eyes, but this is all the shopping I did with my actual credit card. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that is it for me. I will leave links down below, so please go and check out Scrap Shots and Wild Whisper. Use my discount code, um, save some money, DT Jen, to grab up some of these new collections, hit up that clearance sale, and Scrap Shots has tons and tons of stuff, so definitely check them out. They're getting in all brand new Christmas stuff, and yeah, just lots and lots of fun. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know down below. I'd love to chat with you guys. Click subscribe if you haven't already. I would really super appreciate it. And that's it. So until next time, happy scrapping. Bye. Bye. Thanks to me. Hit the like button. Turn my channel.